Hi Ash. Hello. So what are we doing? Uh, we are at uh, a property uh, that we did as a source deal. Uh, we're doing a little review type thing, just a little chat through. We're basically driving around Bristol, aren't we? Yeah. Um, yeah, we are. So tell us, what deal number was this one? Uh, 87. Deal 87, yeah. which was probably year two for us? Something like that. 2013 Maybe. or 20... Yeah, it must be about 2013, I think. That sort of, that yeah, sort of that year. Yeah, that sort of time. And which house is it? Uh, it's Dunkerry Road in okay. Windmill Hill. Okay. Um, so it's this one here. This, this um, one on the corner? It, it's not the whole house, just the ground floor, which okay. is a two-bed flat. Got you. All right, yeah. two-bed flat. Let's have a look at the... That's quite cute. And then we got a cute little park just yeah. here. Cool. And actually, we got Ash's dog. <laughs> Somewhere. In his car. <laughs> so tell us um, what happened on this deal. Um, well, we sold um, up, what did we do? And what we, did... It was done as a source deal, so we found an investor for it. Yeah. Um, so we got a sourcing fee. We got a sourcing fee. Cool. And uh, the investor who bought it was, uh, I don't know if they were Bristol based. They used to be Bristol based, um, yeah. and then they moved. Um, and they wanted to do uh, they wanted to do it as a buy to sell, um, yeah. like a little bit of a flip. Yeah. Um, so I think they've since gone on to do some interesting bigger projects. Yes. This was like an early days one for them, I think. Yes. Um, was this one of their first? I'm I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, really nice people, um, and they ended up buying it for one five five. It was through an estate agent. Right. Um, what else? It wasn't too bad on a refurb. Yeah. It was. Uh, rented out for a number of years, pretty tired. Yeah. Um, so they did a refurb on it and yeah. then... Kind of, what, do you remember? I can't remember, um, somewhere around like 15-ish, I think they spent something like that. They did quite a lot of the work themselves actually on this one because yeah. um, they were in Bristol at the time. So I think they did some of the work themselves. And as a source deal, we don't do the refurbs or we didn't no, do the refurbs. No, we didn't do the refurb. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was uh, an interesting one for them. Uh, yeah. They did it up and they ended up selling it. Um, for one six four in the end. So bought for bought for one one way one one eight. Checking. Sorry, one one eight. Oh, bought for one one eight. Yeah, and Oops. then we said one five five done up, and they sold it for one six four. Oh wow! So they made four uh, nine grand more than we said. Yeah, yeah, in this instance. Is that pretty yeah. typical with some of your deals? Um, yes, most of them. Yes. Why? We we try we try to keep it pretty conservative, and you know. Keep it straightforward, that sort of thing. Um, and we, we get our valuations from estate agents in the local area and they put it on with uh, one of the guys that we work with quite closely actually. Yeah. So they did, they did quite well. Yeah. How were you able to assess the value even though you kept it quite conservative and they sold it for nine grand more than we said it was going to be um, worth? We ring, around, we ring around some local agents, yeah. uh, normally four or five in the local area, all working in you know this area. And then we look at sold prices um, what things are sold for within like quarter of a mile, half a mile, try and make it comparable. Yeah. Um, you know, similar sizes, similar types. Yeah. And uh, we do right move comparisons. So yeah. just put in whatever's on the market, two bed flat in this area. Yeah. Yeah. So um, one question that I've been asked before is, why would an estate agent give you the time of day and tell you what they thought something was worth when there was nothing in it for them? It's two minutes for them, isn't it really? They know, they know the area, they might have been out to it in the first place. Uh, you ask them what they think a two bed flat's going to be worth in a particular postcode, they're, they're most likely going to know it. So, yeah. And when, because we, um, we've closed our uh, sourcing group, which was always part of our plan really, wasn't it? We were going to mm. do it for five years, yeah. which, which we've done. Oh, they're beeping you. Thank you. <laughs> um, I don't know if you saw, I got a kiss in Brazil on a video. All right. I was just videoing and somebody came up, and, well, a bloke came up and gave me a kiss. Um, but you actually, in the deal report, which is quite useful for other people that want to do any sourcing for investors, you actually put their names, their phone numbers. Yes. So that the investors can investigate themselves. Yeah. And then where do you get the, the sold uh, uh, information from? Uh, a branch of mouse price. Okay. Mouseprice.com, yeah. is it? Yeah, it's mouse price. Uh, it's, they, they've got an analytics thing which is called Cal Mayer or something like that, C-A-L-N-E-A. -E yeah. Um, and that just tells you basically the same thing on mouse price, but yeah, it's just in the way I prefer it, if you know what I mean. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, for on the market, I suppose that's the obvious one. Do you use right move or yeah. simpler? Any yeah, preference? Right move. Yeah, yeah. just totally happy. Yeah. Any other kind of hints and tips from this one? Things that went well? Uh, I, I, again, because it was a, because it was a source deal, it was uh, one that we weren't massively involved in on the refurb thing. So you know, I assume the refurb went okay. Selling it obviously went okay. Um, in terms of the buying, um, I think it was fine as well. 
Yeah. Um, for the most part, anyway, yeah, I would have thought so. And these guys went on and worked with us again and again, didn't they? Yeah, I think they worked with us on some other bits and pieces. Um, and then, yes, yeah, they've since relocated and changed the strategy, I think. So, but yeah, I, you know, I'm sure they're doing very well. Cool. Thank you very cool. much. No worries.